Hey, hi! Hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming Channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. One can't really kill death itself, there won't be any respite for the mortals. It will only get worse from now on, prepare yourself for a long fought battle. You'll need to go through the castle again, but this time we'll go straight there. It will only get worse from now on. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Folks, we are back with the continued journey through Dead Cells, a wonderful roguelite that just kind of got away from me over the years, you know, as some of these games do. But hey, we're back. We're back now. We're checking it out. And I got to tell you, I am just having a uh, wonderful time with it. If you were with us last time, boy, we had a great time. Speaking of good times, uh, you know, we came across this uh, Death's Scythe. And God, is it just an amazing weapon. This thing was not only destroying enemies left and right, but then it was creating copies of those enemies uh, and kind of weaponizing their souls. Um, it was ridiculous, if I'm being honest, and I would be nothing but with you. All right, so that guy went down nice and easy. Invisible after five seconds without attacking. The first invisible attack inflicts 150 plus damage. All right, why not? Yeah, we're gonna take this and melt this down. My bad. Too many buttons all at once. So I figured uh, we'd get together today and do what we always try and do. Just have a fun run in Dead Cells. Uh, it's not the hardest thing to do. It's a fun game, so a lot of the work is done for me, you know what I mean? I don't know if I want to head into the Castlevania DLC area or if I just want to kind of go vanilla. I'm just going to take it as it comes. See where the night takes us, you know? I know I do want to go through most of the area. And just make sure I'm not leaving any stat upgrades behind. I like to grab all of those as we're making our way through. Ooh, infantry bow inflicts a critical hit at close range. Yeah. We'll do that. Let's melt this down for a hot one gold. I am not going to deal with that plant thing. We're going to pop back over to here. I mentioned this the other day uh, in a video that I did for an upcoming roguelite called Sworn, which is actually really cool. If you have not seen the video on Sworn yet, you should check that out. It's kind of a multiplayer. Ooh, a leg hugger. Why not? I love leg hugger. It's a multiplayer Hades, and it's really cool. Uh, they're doing a closed play test, but I have a link in the video description that will allow you to get on in there. I really like the Nutcracker. Ah, uh, that is a starred enemy. Oh, cool. Let's go with Brutality. All right. Get him, Leg Hugger. Sick him. But I mentioned that uh, I had just come off a glorious meal. We uh, earlier today, 
today, the other day, you know, I'm, I'm playing these games on the same day. So today, yesterday, today, uh, went out and ate a whole bunch of great stuff at a local grease pit. I went with the sausage beef combo. That's one of my favorite things. Okay, that was worth coming back for. I love that thing. And let's see, let's see. Where do we want to go from here? Probably over there? Yeah. Oh, no. You know what? Maybe we will go into the Castlevania area today. Why not? Should we go down here first just to grab this thing? I think that's worth doing. Okay, so plus 75% damage to rooted targets. I actually think I'm just going to melt this down. I like the splicer a little bit better that we've got. We'll head on over to the castle for now. See what we can see, right? So I got the sausage and beef combo, and God, you know, just pair together two of the best things, roast beef and... Just a wonderfully charred sausage. Yes, we are going to vanquish the horrible night. That is the goal. Uh, I'm going to keep marching us towards this health flask use. I think that thing is really, really helpful. I will upgrade the leg hugger to quality. Plus 40% damage on electrified targets. Um... You know, I think we're gonna reforge that. Increases your movement speed for five seconds after killing an enemy. That's good. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and I'm gonna go with the combo. So then, you know, just to add insult to injury, because come on, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it, right? You just gotta really lean into it. Uh, I ended up getting a chocolate shake but but not just any kind of chocolate shake this is a chocolate cake shake and uh, this establishment happens to be kind of famous for their chocolate cake and i gotta tell you this shake it's just over the top you know you got your standard chocolate shake that's epic it's an a plus by itself but then on top of that they load in just crumbles of their chocolate cake with the frosting to boot and uh man oh man it's just the greatest thing we need a sledgehammer to get through those doors i don't know about you hey i want to i want to catch that a ribboned key okay you know what i think i remember getting to an area in the castle that needed that and we were like what the hell's the ribbon key so hopefully we get to that point again. We'll, we'll see. I think we're going to need an upgraded primary weapon at some point. Just thinking out loud here. I can't open it from here. Okay. All right. Well, then we'll break in. It's okay. Now we, we're in now, jerk. But to say that I'm full right now, and, and, and I ate I ate several hours ago. Uh, to say that I'm still full right now is is the understatement of, of the year. Uh, I, I am packed. You know, and when we got back, I said to my wife, I go, hey, uh, I'm not going to be eating dinner. Like, there's just no way. She looks at me like I'm crazy. Well, how do you do that? How do you... What do you mean you're not eating dinner? Yeah, like I just ate, I, I, I ate dinner at 11 a.m. That's that's what I, I don't know. I just pack it away. I'm, I'm like a food camel or something. I don't know. You can imagine this, right? And I like this additional speed, but we're stuck there. Until we get the ability to jump off walls or Whatever we must be missing, it's gotta be something like that. All right, let's go health this time. And 
we're gonna go ahead and raise this. I'm kind of excited about this ribbon key, I gotta tell you. Just making really sure that we don't miss any rooms, you know? Our friend should be mutating here. I, I actually don't know if uh, there's a count for how many enemies uh, the leg hugger has to kill uh, before it mutates. Oh, shite. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, boy. Of course, we're going to have to come back and make sure we didn't miss any uh, rooms. We will take that. All right. I like the additional speed that we got from that one uh, bufferino. Everything must go. Okay. Oh, hey. Summon a leg hugger that attacks enemies. This creature feeds by attacking your enemies once sated. Plus 40% damage on electrified targets again, huh? Well, gosh, I mean, the thing is, I, I would imagine we start over, but it's it's a lot better. All right. Well, hopefully we don't start completely over, but one would think we will. All right, we're gonna teleport back. And this works out super well. Wonderful. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and take brutality. During the uh, previous run with that site, I was thinking to myself, boy, what kind of weapon would be better than this? How how do we outdo this? You know, I'm, I'm interested to see what else we come across in this game because, man, I can't wait to run into that thing again. All right, these rooms appear to be empty. And we're going to go out here and just investigate just for purpose of making sure we've seen it all cuz I'm I'm not now that we got that key I want to be damn sure we run into that or if, if it is in fact over here, go ahead and take a sip. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, could that be it? Hey, there it is. All right. Hey, hello. Oh, a visitor. I was starting to lose hope of Richter coming to free me so that I could tell him that I don't need it. I can look out for myself. I had sent my kitty cat, Biako, on a mission to get me the key to this room, but he came back empty pawed. I guess I have to thank you for that. Anyway, I'm free at last. My cat seems to like you. Don't forget to give him a little scratch behind the ears. As for me, I'll pack my things and go help Richter. What would he do without me? All right. Um, be a fool to underestimate me. Okay, well, where's the cat? Over here? The beautiful white cat that was carrying the key to his owner's prison. All right, well. Oh, oh. He's so cute and vicious, a proud member of his species. 
Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right, so we... Wait, can we... We can have both, right? Let's just wait for that to recharge. We should be able to have both pets, is what I'm assuming. Right? Yes. Okay. I want to see what this pet does. Summons Maria's cat on your shoulder. He often leaves it to go and wander around. Scratching enemies he crosses can be reactivated to make the cat jump in front of you and unleash a flurry of slashes. Plus 40% damage on electrified... Boy, what is with the electrified targets? I need a weapon. I need, like, that electric whip. We gotta find that in our journey. That would just be wonderful. Uh, I will go ahead and not mess with that language that's on them right now. And let's go with that. Wow, that's something. Whip sword. Wow, okay. Oh, we've been over here before. Now we will go down there. There's something in the wall over here. Malachite, okay. You know, I got to tell you, I was struggling uh, last time with the guys that can throw the projectiles up through the wall above. I really got to an area last time that uh, you know, we took a lot of hits doing that. You're going, yeah, I know. We watched. We were yelling. Yeah. Well, you know, um, look, sometimes that's just how a goat video goes, you know? If you know, you know. Are we are gonna just go across, I guess. Uh, what do we got going on over here? The carriage seems to have swerved right into the castle's front gate. Its driver must have been distracted by a very big insect. <laughs> okay. That's that's pretty random. Uh, that's to go down, though. We don't want to go down. Do we? Do we want to go? I, you know what? I guess, I guess we continue going over to the right, perhaps? Is that a thing, maybe? Yeah, that is a thing. All right. Upward and onward, right? Eight minutes and I'm at 12. I was like looking at the, uh, you know, suggested timer and going, yep, didn't, didn't do that. All right, let's put them in the health flask and inflicts a critical hit if you previously used the other claw. Huh. Can be transformed in between two attacks to deal critical damage for one and a half seconds. Just don't know how realistic it is, uh, you know, in trying to get any of these opened up. Uh, you know, I've put in a little bit of points into the, the cross. Let's uh, put those in there and then we'll put two more in the health flask. Okay, um, you know, I suppose we'll spend a little bit of money here. Shoots an arrow upward. Okay. Oh, we're going to upgrade the cat for sure. Okay. Right, we're going to stick with the electrified targets and, and see if we can 
find something that uh, helps with electrifying. I'm hopeful yet. You feel like you don't belong here. The walls themselves seem to judge you. All right. We'll see about that. Oh, that's got a neat look to it. Oh, wow. We got to put our buddies out. Okay. I think we can get up over there, so we're gonna keep going this way. Wouldn't mind having the energy weapon that that guy has. He could drop one of those for me. That would be really nice. I feel like last time we were here, we got through the area relatively fast. I didn't even mean to. I think I'm going to take my time a little bit more this time. This is like when I used to play Noida and folks would show up in the comments and say, God damn it, Goat, we told you don't go. What is this? Oh, my. Simon outfit. Oh, that's cool. All right. That would be fun. You know, I am still curious if these outfits are, you know, purely aesthetic or if, if they do something beyond that. I guess we'll find out along the way, right? That was, that was really close. I was waiting for those uh, statues to come to life on us, but I guess not this time. Oh, wow. It's those guys throwing stuff from the bottom again. I really struggle with that. I've got to watch for that a little bit more and just time the rolls uh, to roll right through it. That's my thinking. And of course, to be sure to curse them out for, for acting like that. Man, oh man, wow. Massive loss of health. Let's take a sip here. Definitely want this. This is worth coming over here for. Uh, let's go brutality again. All right, so we're connecting back up with this side. We've explored this full area over here at this point. Um. 
We'll go with a bigger boost to health on this one. I, I was under the impression that statue was gonna come to life. All right, we're gonna go to the right first. see uh, nothing does electric okay I know I could teleport but I just like rolling through you know I'm definitely not chasing a uh, specific clock time I'm, I'm already so far behind those chest bonuses that you know, I think at some point that ship just kind of sails on, on your whole run. All right. Who knows, maybe the goat will be a dead cell speedrunner yet. I know, I know somebody's laughing at that. Um... Okay, well this is uh this is interesting. I think uh we're heading the other way. That's what we're being told here. Yeah, so I guess we could have I'm missing. I guess up here. Oh, nice. Glad we came back here. That worked out really well. Vote for health, right? Okay. I just want to see what's on the other side here. Leg hugger's got to be getting close, wouldn't you think? Okay, so that's the other side of that wall, apparently. Someday we'll be able to get down into those, figure out what the hell that is. Someday. Eat that kebab. Oh, we're getting somewhere now, aren't we? Old Masters Keep. Yes. All right, we got 24. Um, ah, close, but no cigar. So if we make it again, that should put us close to it. I'm just thinking that that might be a nice weapon for us. Probably doesn't electrify, but still. Um, I'm still holding out hope that we're going to run into something that does electric. And uh, we'll go with that. 
again would be nice to know if the pets are considered a deployed skill or not. Oh, we know what happens now, don't we? That's a lot of dead people. Well, we're going to try to do the thing again, aren't we? This was a legit fight last time. Crossbow really coming in handy on this one so far. Oh, now, now it's coming, now it's coming. That time we were bouncing off of him with nail was incredible. Sip, cheers to you. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. That's so satisfying. Let's see what we got. What is this? Oh, wow. Death outfit. That's cool. All right, so we got the fire brands, and that is not what I'm looking for. And we got the tonic, and that is not what I'm looking for either. That's okay. That's all right. Happy to get a win. You know what I do think I'm going to do, though? I, I normally give all my dough to this dude, but but this time I'm not gonna do that. I'm only gonna give a few. And we're gonna head back to this dude and we're gonna grab ourselves a cross and see how this goes as a primary. Throws a cross in front of you, returns after a few seconds, dealing critical damage when spinning in place or on the way back. Well, let's throw the rest in there. Okay. Increases your movement speed after five seconds after killing an enemy, plus 60% damage to a bleeding target. Well, we happen to have a dude that causes bleeding, so let's try this. Okay, that could be decent. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and re-forge its capabilities if we can still. Where is that dude over here? Yeah, here we go. All right, so, well, let's of course do that. Um, so this is our dude leads this one doesn't you know it's it's probably time to reforge victims burn when they die okay love that the victims remains explode all right great yeah i'm good with that okay 
I can definitely be okay with that. And let's see. We want to go to the Stilt Village, I believe. guys out. Okay, so I don't know if this was meant to be primary weapon. Um, does it work? Yeah, it does. Um, not, not extremely well, turns out. Um, you know, look, you gotta experiment, right? And, uh, I did. Um, go with that. I did. And not all experiments pan out, of course, but... You know, we've got this, too. Did I just put myself in a potentially bad spot? Um, yeah, that's possible. Oh, no. That's, that's not great. Well, we've got a uh, mutated dude at this point, and that's exciting. Man. Come on, guys. Okay, we need to get a drink, like, right now. Oh, man. Well. Learned a few things today. First of all, this game continues to be both cool and very challenging. I think taking that cross as a primary uh, blew the run in a big way for me. I didn't know that at the time. Um, it was just too slow. You know, you just need something that's more rapid in succession like the blades that I had, but I knew I needed a weapon of some other kind because those daggers were either level one or level two. I mean, it was time to make a change, uh, just not to that. And now I know there's still a ton of cool stuff that we're in the process of opening up. And you know, I look forward to playing this game more. I, uh, I hope you're enjoying the series and the runs and um, you know, if anybody has friendly advice, I'm always welcome to hearing it. This is a great community. So, you know, feel free to sound off in the comments. If you're enjoying it, hit the like button. Uh, that helps others see it and uh, find out about the channel as well. Uh, we'll do this again soon. Get together, we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because, uh, well, we do that every time. And uh, we're going to keep doing that. I hope you have a good rest of your day out there. Take care. We'll see you next time.